you can just literally Google Dan the Mortgage Guy and you'll find everything you need to know about me. What's going on everyone, Dane the Mortgage Guy here and another 3 Minute Thursday video for you where I attempt to explain something about the mortgage industry or real estate industry in under 3 minutes. So today, I want to talk to you guys about discounts, credits, and what in the hell is a basis point. Now before we jump into this video, as always, I just want to make sure that you know exactly what company I work for. All of my information is on the wall, disclosures are down below, and three minute clock goes right there. Let's do this. Three minute Thursdays, go. So like I said, I'm gonna tell you guys what a discount, a credit, and what a point is. But I'm gonna start with point first. Now, a point is also known as a basis point, which is also known as BIPs, depending on who you're talking to and, and, and whatever lingo that they decide to use, but they're all exactly the same thing. Now, the actual definition for a basis point is... <laughs> I tried doing this like 10 times and I just, I just have to read it because I'm not going to get it right. What is a basis point? A basis point, otherwise known as BIPs, are a unit of measure used in finance to describe the percentage change in the value of financial instruments or the bank change in an index or other benchmark. Thank you, Investopedia. Now, at the end of me explaining what a discount and a credit is, I'm gonna give you guys a scenario of how this all makes sense and how to make sense of all of this. So what is a discount? Well, a discount is when you, the borrower, pay to get a lower interest rate on your loan. Now, let's say you applied for a new loan, whether it's a refinance or a purchase, and your par rate, which I'll go into in a second, your, your par rate is 4.5%, but you really want a 3 in front of that, so you're going to pay a little bit extra to get down to 3.99 or 3.875. Whatever that difference is, whatever the cost of that is, is going to be a basis point, which we'll get to in a second just as well. Now. Let's go the other direction. Let's say you need a credit, right? And typically a credit's only going to happen in purchases. Very rarely will it ever happen within a refinance, but it is doable if it makes sense for your situation. Now, with a credit, you're taking a higher interest rate to get a little bit of a cash kickback from the lender, such as the company that I work for, Movement Mortgage, or whoever it is that you're working with to get a mortgage but you're taking a higher interest rate, they're giving you a little bit of cash back to help alleviate the cost of something. Now, typically this really mainly only happens in purchases, but sometimes you'll see it in refinances. And at the end of this explanation, I will give you a much more detailed scenario so that way it doesn't eat my three minute clock. Wait, does that mean I'm done? Did I already explain everything? So I made a little bit of a boo-boo yesterday when I recorded this video initially. Uh, I don't know how to do math very well. That's why I have a calculator on my phone, uh, but I didn't get the actual calculation of basis points right because I accidentally multiplied it by 10 or by 100 and it was, yeah, just, it wasn't right. So I re-recorded it. So here's the updated version in a new dress shirt and a different angle. So now that I've explained what discounts and credits and points are to you, I'm gonna add a fourth thing to this, par. I had mentioned par to you guys uh, a few moments ago in this video, and what is par exactly? Well, par is essentially middle ground, okay? Par is equal to 100 in the mortgage world, right? So let's say, you apply for a new loan, refinance or purchase, and your par rate being the interest rate that you get that you are not having to pay for, and you're not getting a credit back on it, is four and a half percent, okay? Now, so now you get your four and a half percent, but let's say you really want a percentage rate with a three in front of it, so 3.99, right? Well, it's gonna cost you some money to be able to get from 4.5 to 3.99. Now, what that cost is is determined by a multitude of factors, but in this video, we're gonna keep it super simple, and we're just gonna say that it's 100 basis points, or 
essentially 1%. So now you're paying 100 basis points or 1% of whatever your home value is in order to get to get you to 3.99%, right? Now, you don't have to pay the full 100. You can pay 50, you could pay 25, you could pay whatever the actual amount is, but whatever that basis point amount is, is, is the percentage of how much your loan value is worth. So let's say you have a $500,000 loan and in order to get from four and a half to 3.99, you're gonna have to pay 100 basis points, which is 1%. So of 500,000, that is $5,000. So credits, how does that work? Well, let's say John Doe goes and buys a house, right? He puts his three and a half percent down on an FHA loan and the sellers of the house that he is purchasing decide that they're not willing to pay for his closing costs. Well. John's like, all right, cool. I really, really want to buy this house, so I will pay for my own closing costs. I actually budgeted five thousand dollars to be able to do that. Well, John, your closing costs might be sixty-five hundred dollars. Now, where's John going to come up with that extra fifteen hundred bucks? Well, let's say he has it in a bank account. Uh, let's say he has it under in cash under his his mattress. That is not a good option. You are not allowed to do that. But let's say he just doesn't have that money. What is he going to do? Well he could take a higher interest rate and get a little bit of a kickback from the lender for taking a higher interest rate. So let's say his par rate is 4.5. Well, for him to go to 4.75, it would give him 50 basis points back, right? So he would get 50 bips back on his $500,000 loan, which would be 2,500 bucks. So hopefully that explains what a discount and a credit is and what a basis point really is and what par means. Now, you'll probably hear those terms tossed around between your mortgage lender and, and your real estate broker and possibly within your circle of friends and just know that is what they're talking about now. Make sure to come back every Thursday for another episode of 3 Minute Thursdays on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can find all of them at just Dane the Mortgage Guy. Like you can just literally Google Dane the Mortgage Guy and you'll find everything you need to know about me. Thank you so much for following this, for watching these videos, and I hope that I am explaining things to you in a way that you understand them. And if you need me to explain it in a more simpler fashion, tell me so that I can provide that to you because I wanna make sure that you guys are educated and know what is going on when purchasing a home or refinancing a home. Thank you again. Love you all. Stay safe, stay healthy. Cheers, everyone.